Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So today I wanted to show the team my newest CGC 9.8 comic book. And yeah, I made a video about this one a couple weeks ago, just talking about how it's a really good sort of obscure first appearance that you can get at a great price in the CGC 9.8 still. And you know, I'm a bit unsure about this one still what to think of it. Like, is it a speculation or is it like a pretty legitimate investment grade 9.8 because you know, it's actually like a pretty rare collector item and we'll kind of get into all the details, but I'm sort of leaning towards it, I think, being a pretty great investment grade 9.8 at a great price too. So yeah, I almost can't lose with this one, I think, uh, which is kind of why I purchased it. So we'll get into all the details here. I boiled it down into uh, three reasons why I pulled the trigger, so we'll get into that eventually. But uh, let's have a look here. It fits right into my collection, this one, in a lot of ways. But uh, newest edition is a Star Wars number 88. First appearance of Lumia on this one, who's basically the female Darth Vader. And, you know, I think like right off the bat, it's kind of cool that you get her on the cover. Like she's on the cover in her first appearance, which is, you know, kind of a positive for a key issue, I think. Um, so with Lumia, you know, clearly not very popular, you know, I don't think most even Star Wars fans don't even know about her. I said on that initial video that we did about it that I had never heard of Lumia until like, you know, the three or four hours before I purchased this 9.8 and I was like, it's funny how the hobby's kind of like that. So not really popular, however, certainly movie studios are kind of running with the female heroes and villains, um, I think. This is a really good kind of speculation, and that's why I'm unsure to maybe think of it as a speculation too. But this is a good speculation that these, some of these big Star Wars movies, maybe in the next five or 10 years, end up getting a female Darth Vader, and uh, it's, it'll probably be Lumia, because yeah, she's looking really cool, I think, too. I think they kind of did a really good job designing her. Um, the one thing I always thought was really cool was, um, I'll put up a graphic to you here, so. Oh, I knocked down my mic. But I'll put up a graphic so I don't have to pull it up. But uh, one thing I thought was really cool was uh, she's got the um, light whip rather than a lightsaber. And um, I think in a big budget, um, you know, super uh, big budget Disney Star Wars movie with the light whip female Darth Vader, that would be super cool. Uh, so lots of potential that way, I think, with Lumia. Let's have a look on the census, though. There are 50 CGC 9.8s in the blue label. I think that's one of the big part of the reasons why I'm thinking more of this one as an investment grade book, because a 1 of 50 collector item in the CGC 9.8 is pretty awesome, I think. Um, the 9.8 ratio, 43.1%. Not too bad for like a book that's not heavily graded and really underfollowed. That's, you know, um, not really rare, but uh, more about the 1 of 50. That's not a lot in the 9.8 for a character that I think has underrated potential, clearly. So uh, talking about prices in the CGC 9.8, and then we'll get into kind of some, some of the three reasons why I uh, ended up pulling the trigger. But uh, for pricing, I paid uh, $130. It was a best offer kind of negotiation on eBay. $130, it was in Canada as well, really cheap shipping for me too. So yeah, it really worked out that way for me. I, I think on Go Collect they had the fair market value at maybe 120 when uh, I was initially kind of doing my research. Um, having a look on eBay, there was one that sold for 150, and uh, I think there was one that sold for 175 too. Yeah, it seems the last few that have sold are sort of in the 150 to 175 range. Um, so you know, this is one where maybe on the back of my video there, some people were. You know, being that there's only 50 out there, if you wanted this one, you know, maybe they paid up to 175 for it. But uh, I think, you know, you're patient here, you wait a couple months, one pops up right around 150. I think this is kind of a great one at the price range. So just talking about the one that I bought, um, pretty smooth order, I gotta say. Uh, case looking pretty flawless. Um, you know, the 9.8 itself, um, you know, not all 9.8s are equal kind of thing. This one uh, got a little bit of off centering where the pages are, are sticking out the side, uh, sort of uh, right on here, where the spine centering is actually really nice. Not too bad, almost perfect, basically, the spine centering. But a little bit of pages sticking on the side. Uh, this is a 9.8 white pager. But um, I, you know, you look at the pages on this one, you know, they kind of don't look super, super white page, and that's 
one of the things where I've said in the past, you know, sometimes I get some um, nine point eight white page books and the pages are just gleaming, sparkling white, and I love that. This one, maybe not so much. Um, the colors too, uh, I would say are about probably a medium on the, uh, you know, the spectrum where they're not super vivid. Uh, you, you could probably see like a 9.6 or a 9.4 have better colors than this one. So sometimes that gets a, sometimes a bit annoying on uh, some 9.8s that I have. So uh, a great 9.8, it look, looking, you know, pretty crisp and everything. The spine's flawless, like I, you can't see a defect on it. So it's a 9.8. But uh, a little bit off centering, case looking great though. Uh, quick shipping from the seller, so really great experience I think overall, which is always good when you're uh, buying a CDC 9.8. So uh, let's get into three reasons here why I ended up pulling the trigger on this one. So first reason, kind of talked about it a bit. Uh, just an underrated first appearance. Yeah, you know, not a lot of people talk about Lumia. I did not know about Lumia before I uh, ended up picking up this book and kind of seeing the cover, doing a little research. and. She really is kind of the female Darth Vader too. Um, I would say uh, the positive is that like, uh, you know, she was essentially kind of Darth Vader's spy and she got injured and then Darth Vader rescued her and then rehabilitated her mechanically like him. So she really in that sense is, you know, a female Darth Vader, absolutely. I don't think there's any like Skywalker heritage with her, which is maybe like a bit of a negative. But even when you think of like new Star Wars movies, like I think they're kind of going away from Skywalker and bringing in new, uh, you know, a, a new heritage, a new family kind of lineage. So maybe that'll fit into, you know, the, the way Star Wars might move uh, going forward here with their movies. But uh, definitely an underrated first appearance and I, with, with some potential. So yeah, that's the first reason why I ended up kind of pulling the trigger. Second one, price is right. Yeah, there's... And you know, when I'm thinking about Star Wars books, this is in a, it's kind of an apple and oranges comparison, but some of these modern Star Wars books in the CGC 9.8 are pretty expensive. Like, you know, First Doctor Aphra, Kane and the Last Padawans, uh, you know, Heir to the Empire, that one's even, you know, much more expensive in the CGC 9.8 for good reason, you know, fantastic books. But uh, this one, around 150, a one of 50 in the CGC 9.8 at $150 because all those books are, you know, 220, 275, 250, Heir to the Empire, I'm pretty sure in 9.8 is about $500. You know, maybe you get a deal closer to 400 on that, but that one's a really expensive one. Uh, so this one around $150 uh, just made sense. Yeah, it was at the right price and, um, you know, me being a Darth Vader fan and everything, and I have a couple kind of non-key Darth Vader covers. So yeah, this one just fits right into my collection from that perspective too. Uh, so last reason here, um, this uh, a one of 50 collector item is just, I really like to have, you know, if there's less than a hundred of something that's really cool and kind of a first appearance and a key issue, like I, I really enjoy that feeling about the 9.8 collecting some of these more underfollowed books. And this one definitely ticks that box. Yeah, you know, first appearance of Lumia, she's on the cover, looking cool, only one of 50 in the uh, blue label CGC 9.8 kind of top grade. So. Um, yeah, and for me, I'm kind of a villains guy. You know, I, I like my villain first appearances, you know, whether it's Hobgoblin or so many. I got, you know, Batman villains. Um, so this, you know, being a Darth Vader fan, this one uh, just fits right in with uh, the kind of first female Darth Vader appearance. Uh, but the last reason, that, that one of 50 collector item looks pretty good on the census for $150 CGC 9.8, especially given all these modern Star Wars books that are quite expensive in the 9.8, way more than $150, yeah. Uh, so making sense from a lot of uh, different uh, angles, I think. That's why I ended up pulling the trigger on a Star Wars number 88. You know, I kind of recommend this one, to be honest. I think... Um, you know, it's one as a Star Wars fan, if you just like Darth Vader a lot, you can enjoy, like me. Because, you know, I never recommend to kind of, oh, like, maybe she'll be in a movie, go buy it. Like, no, you gotta like Star Wars, you gotta like Darth Vader, and, you know, be a bit of a villain's guy, I think. Have a bit of the dark side in ya. Then, I think this one's one that you can absolutely enjoy, but there's that wild card, possibly, where um, I think Lumia in a big budget Star Wars movie would look awesome, it makes sense, like, it, yeah, definitely it's a completely underfollowed, unknown character. Um, so I think it would just take everyone by, you know, surprise for sure. And I'm not saying this is gonna happen imminently or anything. Yeah, this is one I think, yeah, you can just enjoy for like the next five or 10 years and then maybe that Lumia movie comes out and 
you make out like a bandit possibly but if not a great uh, kind of star wars collector item for a darth vader fan for sure yeah star wars 88 and the 9.8 pretty cheap right around 150 i think is a buy i got mine for 130 maybe get it for a little lower um yeah this one just makes sense i think right now so yeah one two uh, uh glad i could uh, kind of share the unbox with everyone and um yeah one i definitely was compelled to pull the trigger on all right um yeah i'm glad i can share uh this uh a new grab here and uh yeah whenever i can grab kind of a first appearance at an affordable price and um be pretty happy with it and share it with everyone and i think you can still probably get this one at a pretty affordable price too that's a good one that's a, a good thing and you know even in the raw whatever your budget is like this one's probably a great one where you know it could be in some star wars back bins at your local comic shop and nobody really even knows it's like a first appearance of Lumia or anything like that. So, yeah, definitely one I think all around to look out for. And uh, yeah, I'll leave it up to you, I guess. Is it a speculation or an investment? <laughs> I think with that one of 50, it's feeling like a bit of an investment because it's a rare one in the you know pretty high grade. Absolutely. But uh, maybe more of a speculation because it's completely possible that there's absolutely no Lumia movies ever. And uh, this one will just be 150 bucks forever pretty much. But... You never know. I uh, think I can really enjoy this one, though. All right, I will leave it at that. If you haven't already, I would invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. Yeah, I'd love to have you on our comic book collecting and comic book investing team. Hit the bell for all the latest notifications. Add me on Instagram and Twitter. All the links in the description below for that. Okay, uh, solid unbox here, solid add to the collection. Yeah, fits right in, really happy about this one. Yeah, maybe not the best centering, like it maybe not be the perfect 9.8, but uh, you know, I don't mind when they have a little bit of quirks and it's still a very sharp 9.8, so you know, great case and everything like that. So really happy with this one. All right, thanks so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate all the support. Uh, having great talks on Instagram, so message me on Instagram if you had any kind of, uh, you know, maybe some direct questions that you thought uh, you wanted to ask. All right, uh, thanks so much again for watching, and I will see you on the next one.